Hey everyone, uh, Drew here. This is kind of a really new thing for my channel because I actually don't think I've appeared on a video on my channel yet. But today uh, we're going to check out the Fall Festival and uh, kind of go on a little food tour with it. And uh, just check out all the odd food and everything like that down there. The Fall Festival is the second largest street festival in America, uh, behind Mardi Gras in New Orleans of course. Um, but yeah, we're going to go check it out. So I got some uh, fried mac and cheese first to start it off. It's really good, really cheesy. It's really, it, the noodles are really uh, all individual in it. So it's really good that it's not mush, because that would be gross. Definitely something to try at the Fall Festival is the fried mac and cheese. I think a couple of booths have it. Alright. So, I also got one of the more Otter things at the uh, Fall Festival, but it's also a staple at Fall Festival, which is the brain sandwich. It's falling apart on me. I've never had brain before. Uh, kind of interesting to see what it's like. It's, it's not bad, but it's like a pork rind that's not fried. Like, it's hard to explain. So, <laughs> so a little uh, out of focus time. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel from the brain sandwich. But it's, the meat itself is really weird. It's, it's, I thought it was going to be breaded, but it's uh, actually not breaded, and it's just kind of like pan fried. And it's really... Uh, really mushy, which is a weird texture for me, and it's not great. But uh, it's got uh, some pickle and some onion on it. Uh, that's the way they traditionally serve it, so that's why I got it like that. Yeah, um, like I said earlier, if you imagine a pork rind that's not fried, it's kind of what it is. It's not great. The, the flavor is not much there. It's mostly, it's really fatty. I actually, I actually opted for the slider version of the brain sandwich because I didn't know if I would like it. Now I'm, I'm pretty glad I opted for that. So it's, it's not, it's, I'm not getting it again. That's it for that. So we got the uh, the chicken and waffles from the United or Central United Methodist Church booth. Uh, just came with a little cup of syrup. I really like syrup, so uh, I'm gonna have to open that up for sure. I guess it's kind of like chicken and waffle bites. Oh god, the syrup's dripping everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's sauce. Oh, that's sauce. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try one. It's like, chicken and waffle bites are amazing. This is really good. You can really taste the flavor of the waffle around the chicken, and it's a good breading. And the chicken's really good inside of it, actually, too. So, Jake, you wanna try one? Oh my god, get some of that sauce. It's driving me nuts. It's like, you can get beat the kids without the Really good, yeah. Like they got powdered sugar on too, 
And the way we're eating them is kind of messy. They give us fork, but uh, we don't really need a fork for this. They're kind of finger food, you know? Uh, really crispy and the chicken's really uh, really juicy chicken it's not dry at all um, I do have syrup all over my hand now so that's kind of an issue but uh, you know it's, it's whatever it's fine This is the uh, flaming peanut butter burger. Uh, there's a patty. She, I got with cheese and pickles and onions. Uh, I wasn't really sure what I should get on it. And then it comes with the uh, jalapenos here underneath and the peanut butter on the bottom of the bun. Uh, I've never had one of these. I, I feel like peanut butter on a burger in general is kind of a uh, kind of a clash. It's kind of like a sweet and savory type clash, but. I've, Good clash. So let's go ahead and try this. We can really taste the peanut butter and the jalapenos. It almost overpowers the burger flavor at all, but you can still. Um, also because I got it with cheese, so that might be might be a little weird. I got another one I'd probably get without cheese. But it is definitely spicy, and then that sweet, sweet from the peanut butter comes in right after it. So. So it's, it's actually pretty good. This isn't something I'd regularly get, like on an everyday basis type thing, like a restaurant. But it's something fun to get down here, uh, something different. Uh, probably gonna hit up some things that actually sound good next. Uh, actually sound good and look good. Uh, the chicken and waffle bites was a surprise. And those were really good. Uh, definitely put that above this just because it's chicken and waffles, so how can you go wrong? But. Uh, Yes, this isn't too bad. It's a lot of peanut butter, though. So I got the wasabi ice cream. This is the last uh, weird sounding item I'm going to get tonight. I hope so. Uh, some the Salvation Army, they even got their own little cups. Uh, it's pretty cool. So I also got honey on top. So let's uh, go ahead and get a spoonful. So, I don't like wasabi, yeah, like regular wasabi, but I guess with the mix of the cream, ice cream, and with the honey, the honey really makes it, it really uh, brings out the sweetness. But the, uh, the ice cream itself, you definitely get the wasabi taste. It's, it's not like gritty, like normal wasabi, which is what I like. I like that it's not gritty. Let's just clarify that. But it's a. Uh, has a kind of a pale taste. The, the wasabi flavor is there, but it's not very strong, so that's good for me. Uh, mixed with the honey, uh, it, it actually uh, makes for kind of a nice uh, little dessert treat. Definitely not something I want to try every day. But it's, it's, it's not bad. And it's not spicy at all. 
It just has like the uh, essence of a flavor of wasabi. Thank you. 